Brady's a young man who was also their field goal kicker. Uh, then after the fourth game, that game, game uh, against Michigan, gave it up and turned it over to a freshman. Short kick taken at the 15-yard line and brought up uh, the right tackle. First and ten. And on the carry, Drummond breaks it wide open, gets up close to the 42-yard line on the first play from scrimmage. Brought down by Keita Covington. At the 42 of the Orangewood of Syracuse, McPherson the quarterback. Drummond and Grimes. His running backs wants to pass right away and comes right over the middle. So Siano into Maryland territory. Brought... So Syracuse on two quick plays, a running play and a passing play. Moving down into Maryland territory. First and ten over the middle. And completed off the hands of the tight end, Tate. And, and so far, Syracuse hasn't given him it at all. At the Maryland 26-yard line. Fourth play for the line of scrimmage. First and ten for the Orangemen of Syracuse. Hands it off to his fullback, Grimes, going straight ahead, close to the 20-yard line. A little mix-up that time. McPherson makes a tackle, breaks it, and gets inside the 15-yard line. You want to stop that fullback. Fullback again, Grimes busting two, three intended tacklers inside the five-yard line. Checks in now, and they go to a T formation in behind McPherson. Second. And maybe picking up a yard at the most that time. It's a third down and one for the first down. And three yards away for a touchdown. Again, that strong T formation in behind McPherson. And trying to roll out, tripped on the artificial turf and goes down at the nine-yard line. All right, back at the 15-yard line, a 25-yard attempt. McCauley in there to try for the field goal. He has the distance and right on the mark. And right through the uprights with 10.27 to go. Syracuse on the move and striking for the first score there after the afternoon. Cherry Ball 2 by taking the lead of 3 to nothing over Maryland. And the Orangemen really made it look easy. Tim Fessley, number 17, handling the kickoff duties here. And Keita steps to the one-yard line and brings it out for Maryland. Gets up to the 20, finds some daylight. Plenty of daylight as he finally run out of bounds on the far side of the field. For the Terps. Stan Gelbach, of course, the quarterback for Maryland, hands off now to Blunt. And he drives up close to the 40-yard line. Try to out-quick him a little bit. Badanek and Blunt, the running backs. Badanek, the fullback, found a little daylight in between guard and tackle. And because they got the first down by Badanek. Maryland's first first down of the afternoon ball at the Maryland 45-yard line. Gelbaugh faking to his tailback and looking for a receiver. Goes over the middle and he's got him. And down in a Syracuse territory, Abdurah. Maryland coming right back now on the move and a couple of plays down in the Syracuse territory first and ten. Using Holder in motion now coming to the narrow side of the field. And the tailback carrying and going out of bounds as Alvin Blunt. Five yards on a carry. So it's second down at five. Blunt on a carry. A lot of daylight right over the middle inside the 20-yard line. Close to the 17-yard line. Another wide receiver. Straight ahead by Badanik on a carry close to the 15-yard line. The wide receiver on the right side. A little power. They use that holder in motion. I know the tight end in motion that time. On the carry. Blunt. Little misdirection, cross play coming through. Him, besides the interior part of that uh, three forward wall on defense for first and goal at the seven yard line of Syracuse. And Blunt again inside the five, close to the three. And so second down and goal from the Syracuse four. And Gelbaugh rolling out. And he's in for the score. Gilball looking as if he wanted to pass. Maybe Jimmy had the option on that kind of play and found nobody open. Well, what he did is they go out to the outside on the option, and with the play action fake inside, they held the outside linebacker. Dan Henney, backup quarterback holding. And Blocky's kick, hitting the bar, and he has missed his first point after of the 1985 collegiate season. And we'll have that kickoff coming your way in just a moment. Don't go away. The Terrapins up by three. Six to three over Syracuse. Let's see. Tommy Kane on a kickoff returning it for Syracuse. 
first and ten at the 26-yard line. We got movement all over the field. Ball, David Frace. Illegal procedure. On the offense. First down. Don McPherson wants to go to the air. A little swing pass down. And going no place was Drummond. Second down and 18 for Syracuse. And the option that time for Don McPherson working a little bit as he brings it up to the 25 yard. Third down and 11. McPherson getting some pretty good protection, almost intercepted over there. It was Walker again, averaging six and a half yards on punt returns during the regular season. And Fox with that 41 yard average booms it down around the 23 yard line. Keita breaks one tackle and then gets up to around the 32. Meanwhile, Gilball and the Terps going on offense. At around the 33 yard line, first of 10. Marvin leading 6 to 3. We're in the opening quarter. Gilball faking the handoff to his tailback and over the middle to his tight end. About a 53% passer during the regular season, so he can get the job done through the air. Handing that time to his tailback, Tommy Neal. And those in tapes, you marvel at the speed. Second down and eight for Maryland. At the 44 of Syracuse. Badanik, shielding tackle. Badanik, third down and eight for Maryland, still at the 44-yard line of Syracuse. Davis in motion. And Gilball going to Joins on the pass. Need a yard. 55-yard attempt on the field goal. Blocky's kick is way short and off to the right. So Blocky trying for a long field goal that time. Just asking Blocky to kick that 55-yarder at this point. What you're doing? And the pitch to the tailback that time, Drummond. And Drummond crossing the 45-yard line. Second down, and a couple of yards needed. Close to the first down. McPherson goes well. Syracuse offensively will go well. At the 48-yard line, Syracuse on 48. First downs are all even, five apiece. And McPherson getting pressure from Mesner. Got away from him, reverses the fail. And into Maryland territory. Schwedes, the wide receiver, is put wide on the left. Flags are down. Motion by Syracuse to the 48-yard line of Maryland. Second and seven. And McPherson going to Schwedes. Uh, Schwedes holds it in. And that was the last play of the first quarter. So we get all set for the second period. Maryland on top, six to three. Third and two at the 43 of Maryland. Syracuse trying to push for that first down. It'll be their sixth if they can get it. McPherson hanging on to the ball, faking to his fullback, and has the first down. So Syracuse has collected their sixth first down of the afternoon, trailing 6-3. And McPherson getting some good blocking, at least temporarily now scamping for his life. And coming cross field, a dangerous pass, Swinney's! Makes the reception, somehow he got up on the air. First down at 10, the seventh first down for Syracuse. At the 28-yard line, McPherson with his trailer, he'll keep it all away. And brought down by Brown, close to the first down. You wear those kind for golf, don't you, huh? Little baggier. First to 10 at the 17, McPherson wants to go to the air. He took a look at Schwedes, couldn't find him open. Comes back to Siano at the 10-yard line and rule catch at the 10. Back in trouble, comes back, makes the catch. McPherson, 6 for 7, busts it open this time on a carry, and that was Robert Drummond from Jamesville, New York, who found plenty of daylight, cut it back a little bit, and went in for the score. Uh, you saw it. The cutback is what made the play. And the kick is good. So Syracuse, and we talked about maybe a high-scoring ball game, comes right down and gets the extra point behind the touchdown with 10.53 to go in the second quarter. Syracuse leading Maryland by a score of 10 to 6. Around his five-yard line, Leslie approaching that ball and kicking off for Syracuse. Good kick down about four yards deep into the end zone, and Keita elects it not to bring it out. 
So the touchback, and Gail Ball looking over that defense. First and 10 at his own 20-yard line for Maryland. Time for catch-up for the Terrapins. But Danny can bunt the running backs in there, and Blunt on the carry. Might have got a yard. Boy, you talk about the quickness in the road, 21. Gail Ball, and going deep. He's got his tight end open. The second reception by Farrell Edmonds. Farrell Edmonds in motion. Now moves over. He's the tight end on that left side. And you saw their wide receiver back up into the almost a fumble there. And a tricky handling by Blunt. He managed to hang on to it. But on this second and 13. Another in motion for Maryland. Yellbow. Going this time to Eric Holder, the split end. Yell ball five for five for a total of 105 yards. First and ten for Maryland. Blood on the carry. Breaks a tackle. Inside the 20 down of the 18. First and ten. At the 18 of Syracuse. Blood on the carry. Flag has gone down. Weaving his way almost for a first down. Misdirection, pulling the big tackle against the flow and getting a block on the end of the line of scrimmage. Second and two from the 10-yard line. Badanek on the carry. Might have got inside the five-yard line with a little help from the deep back moving in. First and goal now. Each team with nine first downs. Blood on the carry. Might have got two at the most, maybe one. Nice play in this drive by Maryland that started at their own 20 inside the five-yard line of Syracuse. And wide open is Eric Holder, who makes the reception, beat his man into the corner. It was Tim Pigeon, who was coming back the linebacker, but the touchdown pass. He's dropping it in over the linebacker. Maryland trying for the two-point conversion. Pitch to Badanek. On daylight, they got two the easy way. So the four-yard touchdown pass and the two-point conversion by Badanek putting Maryland back up on top as the Terrapins marched 80 yards in nine plays to go back out in front now. So it's 14 to 10 with 8.50 to go in the half. Syracuse back deep with their kickoff return men of Kane and Drummond. And Kane taking the young man from Montreal. Trying to get to his 20 and does so. Just getting across the 25-yard line. It belongs to Knight, his second touchdown of the season. First and 10 for Syracuse, McPherson. But that fake and then going out to the right side and completing it. First and 10 now at the Syracuse 40-yard line. Drummond on a carry. Wide receiver split on the left side. And now Tate, the tight end, in motion. McPherson cuts it back now on the right side on that option play. Crosses the 50-yard line and now slots on the left side. Ian Street is on the left side. McPherson rolls out of the pocket, trying to find somebody. Intended for his fullback coming out of the backfield, Roland Grimes. And that's far McPherson, 7 for 9 for 66 yards. Gilmore of Maryland, 6 for 6 for 109. The quarterback score. 7 8 to go in the first half. And McPherson going to Seattle and completed. There's Seattle, the guy that broke another pretty good receiver, Art Monk's record at Syracuse this year. Hands it to the fullback, Grimes, straight ahead with power that time. At the Silver Dome of Pontiac, 6-11 remaining in the first half. Robert Drummond has checked back in in the halfback position for Syracuse. McPherson trapped on the left side, reverses the field, trying to find some daylight. Couple good moves, and he finds that daylight, gets it down close to the 27-yard line. Doing pretty good on the ground, let alone his passing today. Drummond has carried seven times in the running position for 50 yards. Intercepted this time. And taken off by Shaq Watt of the linebacker. On that left side, the outside linebacker almost as if it was intended to him. And Ray, it was an all-out blitz. You see McPherson hurrying that ball. Never saw Shaq Weiler intended for Schwede. First and ten for Maryland. And going over the middle. Oh, tremendous hit that time. Intended for Tommy Neal. And tries to drop it in. This time, though, the safeties are ready. In particular, Marcus Paul. Mm -hmm. First incompleted pass for Gelbaugh this afternoon. He's six for seven for 109 yards. Crunch time, no doubt about it. By the Syracuse defense that time. Second and ten. 
from the 32. Just straight power. Maryland, third and two. They are one for two on third down conversion so far this afternoon. But Danik trying to get outside and will not be able to do it. Forced back in that time. First punt of the afternoon. Wright gets it away and a good one. Backing up Sweeties close to his 10-yard line. Right at the 10. Tries to come up the middle. Can't do it. Good coverage. Fumble. And touchdown for Maryland. Scott Ty right into his arms. And Ty playing on the special teams takes it in. Big, big break for the Maryland Terrapins. Great coverage. He's in traffic. Now, you've got to put the ball away when you're in traffic with people grabbing on. Here the ball will pop right free with Shankweiler making the fumble pause. And there's Scott Ty. Uh, Merry Christmas, Scott. Touchdown in the Cherry Bowl. And yes, good. No flags down with 3.41 to go in the first half. Maryland goes on top of Syracuse now by a score of 21 to 10. Paredes will kick it off for Maryland. Taken by Kane. Man, close to the 25. Tailback getting the ball that time, Drummond. And Drummond showing some good speed. Close up look at McPherson, the quarterback of the Orangemen, at the 40-yard line. And the reverse coming around is Sweetie. He's got a good block there, but not a lot to run with it on the narrow side of the field. But a move which helped stop the play. That was Warren Powers we saw get hit. McPherson with the first down, chased by Fawcett, breaks that tackle, gets inside the 35-yard line, loose ball, and a scramble for it. Keita Covington picking that ball up. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, Maryland feels they should have the football, and now they, and they do. Rule, they get it. And Maryland does get it. That's the second steal today. Maryland comes up with a big turnover again. 19 yards on the carry, and then turn it over to Keita Covington. First and 10 for Maryland. Slot to the right with their offensive unit. And this time, handing it off to Blunt. Getting outside, gets you to the 39-yard line. About 12 uh, carries for a total of 53 yards for Maryland. Out of that uh, running back position. Gell ball with a good fake and going deep down to the sideline. Almost intercepted. A little bit. Well, I think, right. Pass interference on a defense. First down. First down. First and 10 on the defense. That time against the first and 10 for Maryland. At the 45 of Syracuse. Good pressure that time. Matthew Rose on the left side. Both in motion. And found daylight in that seam at the 25-yard line. That coverage me. Maryland with the first and 10 at the Syracuse 20-yard line. Blood on the carry. And a lot of daylight trying to get there. Goes touchdown, Maryland. Alvin Blunt scampering 20 yards for the score and showing some pretty good moves on the way there. Got a good block from a split in it. Going the first half, Maryland on top now, 27 to 10. And Chuck, one more point to it, so make it 28 to 10. So Maryland rolling along in pretty good shape right now with 143 to go in the first half. As they move 65 yards in four plays and taking only a minute and six seconds. And then, really, Maryland has taken advantage of some mistakes by Syracuse in the last three possessions. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Kane taking the ball on the far side of the field. Can't find the handle. And they came right back to him at the 15-yard line. McPherson on the option. He likes to hang on to it himself. It's not a great comeback offense, let's put it that way. But they've shown that they can drop straight back and throw it. Need two for the first down. McPherson out of the pocket now. And throw it away. Actually, third and two. Syracuse one for three. And third down conversions this afternoon. McPherson trying to find somebody open. He decides to hang on to it. He's got the first down. Goes out of bounds close to the 30-yard line on the far side of the field. And Syracuse in possession first and ten. Play calls for a long pass this time. And going down the middle. And incomplete. Oh, and 30-yard line. 
little swing pass this time out to his halfback. Seattle's put very wide to the left. Schwitty's wide to the right. McPherson, airborne again, this time goes over the middle, completes his pass, and goes to his fullback, Roland Grimes. Syracuse with 11 first downs. Deep drop, and McPherson could not find anybody open that time. He had the deep drop. But he kept backing away, and that allowed the defender to get outside and make the hit. Down to 19 seconds. Second down. And 19. Completed now to the pullback. The 30th meeting between these two teams, with Syracuse holding the edge, 14 to 13. And there have been two ties. Third and nine. Six seconds remaining on the clock. And the long one from McPherson. Schwede's going high into the air. Oh, great leaping ability. Keita Covington was over there to cover. 42 yards on that long pass. It was a completed pass, but time runs out on the Orangemen of Syracuse. Our first half has been completed with the score reading Maryland 28, the Orangemen of Syracuse 10. Don't go away. We'll be back with our halftime activity. Number one, Keita Covington. Our second half is underway. Maryland leading 28 to 10. At the seven-yard line, Keita Covington tries to get outside. Some good blocking in that forward wall. And busts across his own 30-yard line. Tommy Neal, number 48, and Badanek, number 40, the running backs in there. In behind Gelba on a first and 10. And Badanek trying to move outside. Given chase by Rudy Reed, number 35. Second and seven. Milling in motion from the right side. And he goes to Milling. Reed makes the tackle. And checking out David Lee. So a little more beef in that forward all on the short situation. Close to the first down. Terps on the move and in command so far in this ball game. Second half just underway. Faking the handoff now. And this time going to his running back Tommy Neal. Good speed and Tommy getting deep into Syracuse territory, close to the 20-yard line. Tripped up by his own man. At the 20-yard line, first and 10. On the carry this time is Blunt checking back in and taking over, but getting ready for the holidays. Blunt on the carry, another good, strong block that time, and Freedom and got him inside the 10-yard line. At the 6-yard line, first and goal. And looked too easy that time as Gelbaugh just stepped back and fired a pass, a touchdown strike to Abdu Rauf. Lock here to try for the extra point. You can see it from my end zone camera right on the mark and doing the job. So Maryland going up on top now with a little more cushion. 35 to 10, 11-27 to go in the third quarter. Don't go away. Goes 69 yards, gets the touchdown. Marini. Now it's Syracuse's time. Marini's kicking off. Uh, this one will be taken by Drummond at his eight-yard line. Straight ahead, crossing the 30. Very little diving. So it's up to the quarterback, Don McPherson. Goes to his halfback, his tailback. Drummond going straight ahead. Second and four for the Orangemen. Down by 25, early in the third quarter. McPherson trying to get a little time and getting a little pressure right now. Trying to find daylight and puts it up and hit the play. Fourth. Third down, excuse me. And over the middle. Just about enough for the first down. And Syracuse now five for seven on the third down conversions. Five in a row on those third down conversions. They're going to have to go a little bit better than that and maybe not get down to third downs. But... Second and nine. McPherson out of the pocket. Quick delivery to Swedish. And nothing happens. But that is a preventive piece of equipment. All players wear it whether they're hurt or not. Facing a third down conversion for the eighth time this afternoon on a third and nine. McPherson needs some magic. You see him indicating go someplace. And goes over the middle. Good defensive work. Standing back at his 15-yard line. Fox just getting the punt away. And a flag goes down as Fox went to the turf. And we'll get a penalty. Scramble down there around the... 
Roughing the kicker on a defense. First down. The story so far, the infractions. First and ten. Break for Syracuse. Drummond on the pitch out. Going to his right side. Got about five on a carry. Well, the mascot's having some fun down there. McPherson on the right side on that option play. And that clock reads 7.36 to go in the third quarter. McPherson following his fullback has the first down. He's in tight to the line of scrimmage to make Siano the Schwedes. Hope. And a leaping ability. Schwedes was there but couldn't hang on to it. Keita Covington. Well, the drive started at the 33-yard line of Syracuse. This will be the 11th play of this drive. Schwedes on the reception. Has it up for the first down just outside the 15-yard line. They split their wide, or rather their tight end wide. It's Tate out to the left. McPherson finds something out of nothing that time. Looked like he was bottled up. Second down and eight from the 14-yard line. Seattle in motion. And this time Drummond got across the 15-yard line. Third and seven. McPherson's pass intended for Seattle. Pulled off by Brown in the end zone. Another turnover. A costly one again. That time has to be heartbreaking for Syracuse. They hang on to the ball for six minutes and eight seconds, 14 plays, and get nothing. And turn it over for the fourth time this afternoon. Yelbaugh with a lot of protection and a lot of time. Abdul-Ruf, third down and eight from the 22-yard line of Maryland. Two to four on those third down conversions so far. But they haven't had to worry about it. Little juggling act that time by Badani. Hung on to the ball, the flag goes down. And the backfield of Maryland at the 15-yard line. And also down there is Marcus Paul. Third and 18 for Maryland at the 12-yard line. Yelbaugh back in his own end zone. It goes down the middle, intercepted by Reed at the 30-yard line, and triggers it down to around the 26. There's so the, Reed, Rudy Reed, does the job. There's the big play Syracuse needed. Don McPherson trying to get something going into the end zone here, the way of points. First and ten. Little draw play going to his fullback, and on the carry, Grimes gets inside the 20. Hence, Jim, maybe a little closer than that, but still a 19-yard line. Grimes again, stuck pretty good. Three minutes and two seconds remaining in the third quarter. McPherson following his fullback gets outside and touchdown Syracuse. That's the key to the option. You get the quarterback out there with that great quick feet for two points. Attempt for the two point conversion. McPherson. Going over the middle to Schwedes, and they get the two. Fired it right in there. Hey, I want you to know what a great catch that was. That ball, Ray, was actually tipped at the line of scrimmage, and Schwedes had to react back up to it. After the interception on three plays, a two-point conversion. Score reverses a little bit more. Maryland still on top, 35-18, to but Syracuse very much. <laughs> Keenan Covey did. At a seven. To the 20, gang tackling by the Orangemen. 2.44 to go in this third quarter. Maryland leading 35 to 18. Holder in motion for Maryland. Handoff going to Blunt. And a good job of there blocking up on the right side. And tell them what formation to get into and what automatics to call. Badanik on the carry. And Badanik wrapped up pretty good. A little better than the quarterback. Third and five for Maryland. Holder in motion. Gelbaugh getting plenty of time out of the pocket now, and they're giving him chase. Got a good block there to avert disaster. And riding him hard into the turf. A big, big play. Brought it up to his own 44-yard line, first and 10. And Blunt on the carry. Gets close to the 48. It's in Michigan area. And holding called against Maryland. Malink has checked in. Started the season as a, as a starting guard, right guard, now on that left side. Pass going to Blunt, flag goes down. Interference yeah. against the offense. Belly split far to the left side. Number 22 you saw up there for a moment. They started in motion now, Gelbaugh. 
handed it off to his fullback, Badatic. A flag is down again, thrown by the head linesman right at the 20-yard line. Now that tackle. Backfield in that motion. Exactly what they're looking for. Trying to get to the 46-yard line. They're on 46 for the first down. That time, Neal on the carry. That is it. That is the end of the third quarter. Meanwhile, Bobby Ross wants his offensive unit to come over there, and he'll set up quarter number four. While Maryland leads Syracuse 35-18. to 18. Syracuse trying to get right back into this ball game. Maryland faced with a third and 32 from the lower 22-yard line. The Terrapins. Galbaugh. Stay in the pocket. Coming out now by a couple of steps. Going toward the sideline, and the reception is made by Abdur Ruh. The scrimmage right at the 50-yard line. Takes it around his 12. Boy, he can bring it back. He has brought two of them back for touchdowns during the regular season. Keep in mind, Maryland averaged 405 during the regular season. Syracuse, 250, so they are over the mark. And coming through is Drummond, just pounding his way, straight forward, breaking it between tackle and guard. Scott now coming to in on that tackle at the 47 of Syracuse. McPherson over the middle to his fullback. And inside the 35-yard line, scampering Roland Grimes. Gained that time by Syracuse, 13-17, remaining in this ball game. McPherson on the keeper, fake to his fullback. Passing department, that's a story of McPherson. A lot of time, a lot of time. Now there's no time. Walker coming in around the ankles and bringing him down. Seattle split wide on the left side. Third down and 18. Pressure again, released in time, but no place to go with this. Will be a 59 yard attempt by Don McGauley. McCauley's longest of the year, 49 yards. He's 17 to 23 for the year. On the mark, but he's going to be shy by about 10 yards. So, a little dice work that time, trying to get a few points. And Blunt, the running backs in behind their quarterback, Gelba. Blunt on a carry. Might have got a yard out of it. 35, 18. Sorry, I'm blown on his work in the ground this afternoon. Holder in motion. And Gelbaugh rolling out of the pocket and completes it to Holder that time at the 43 of Syracuse. Pitch to Blunt. Crosses a 40. Chris Knight, the tight end on the left side. Badanik. Badanik. And Blunt in that pro set. To hold her off his fingertips, strictly a sideline pattern. It's an opportunity for Schwedes, maybe, to get something done. Schweit, or rather right, gets the kick away. Got a little twisty punt that'll roll out of bounds close to the nine yard line. Seattle in motion for the Onsman. And Drummond on the carry, busted right up over center. Uh, gets close to the 18 yard line. Got eight yards on the carry, second and two. McPherson fakes to his fullback, has the first down, and gets close to his own 30-yard line. Tate now, the tight end shifts over to the left side. And McPherson goes to Tate, a nice reception. Cradle that with one arm, and gets very close to the first down. Seattle, the other wide receiver on that left side. Instead, McPherson carries, tries to cut it against the grain, and just tripped up. Orangeman at their own 49, first and 10. And McPherson to Tate is tight in. Made the reception at the 45-yard line of Maryland. Schwitties on the right side, wide. Down and out to Seattle, and out of bounds. The most ever. First and 10. McPherson. 
heading for the corner. Twenties, the intended receiver, Keita Covington going into the air this time, and beats the Orangeman, comes through with the interception, the fifth turnover. And Blunt on the carry. Second and four. Edmonds, they tied in the man that was in motion. Blunt, the tailback on the carry. Third and three. Good fake that time by Gelbaugh. Play action and fires it to Milling. And completes it and goes out of bounds. Four minutes and 46 seconds remaining. And Cherry Bowl two. With Maryland in command. Blunt trying to get outside. And is stripped up. Second and eight for the Terrapins. At their own 41. That's playing out the clock right now with 411 to go in the game. Badanik working on the outside. Some good blocking and Paul over there to wrap him up. 343. Remaining in this game. Scriber on the carry that time. Slot on the left side for Maryland on a second and seven. From the 48. Gelbaugh for Duroff. And a slow, a little play, slow developing, really. 223. And clock is ticking away. Gelbaugh taking plenty of time. Maryland leading 35 to 18. And that one going to Tommy Neal. The running back. Just a little quick toss up, pull it off. First and 10 of the 32 of Syracuse. And Blunt inside the 30, close to the 29 yard line. Arthur Bob Lipson, I got us in the booth. <laughs> Thank him, Ray. <laughs> Blunt waving his way down to the 20 yard line. There's some fancy running. Blunt with 23 carries and 116 yards now, and that one touchdown rushing. And Maryland. With just 36 remain, uh, seconds remaining in this one, Blunt going again. Daylight might get there. Desperation tackle at the five-yard line. 122 yards and one interception and two TDs. As Maryland just goes back and Bobby Ross decides he don't want to rub any salt into the wounds. So Gelbaugh, the offensive most valuable player, and Cherry Bowl 2 has come to an end with Maryland winning this afternoon by a score of 35 to 18. So while Gelbaugh takes that offensive MVP trophy, Scott Shankwater is a defensive MVP. We'll be right back after these words. 